Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old Jugalia Lost. Today's video, we're going to be over the new event that just came out. Um, assuming that this loads in. <laughs> Come on, I was hoping this we would be finished loading by now. Uh, Scars of the Syndicate. Um, they didn't give us anything about, like, I guess they don't usually about the free-to-play units, but I'll be going over the free-to-play units, and then I'm going to actually, um, oh, am I going to tell us when the epilogue is? Let me look here. The epilogue for Scars of the Syndicate will unlock on April 12th. And it'll be, yeah, on April 12th, really, huh? It's a long way. <laughs> and Omega opens up on the 3rd, by the way. I think this is the, yeah. Omega starts on the 3rd. Uh, but yeah, it's a raid battle. So that's what we're going to be going over today. Uh, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like. Tell me how you're enjoying Scars of the Syndicate. I've already finished the story. No, except for the epilogue part. It's, um... It's dark. I don't know what's up with Jugalia making every single, um... Um... Anniversary event super freaking dark. So I'm gonna go jump into EX. That's what I was gonna do. I also have the brand new unit. I'll use him a little bit and some other stuff. Um... He's weird. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show off what he does. Because I'm... I'll read him after this, but, and also show off the new dragon as well and stuff like that, but... is weird. This guy's weird. Ready up, you Galax. I was about to say, what the hell are you waiting for? You have, like, the strongest unit in the damn game and you don't want to play? Play the damn game! Oh, what's wrong? 19,000... <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm, I'm getting a little too aggro. And just play the game, man. Especially if you see people that are lower might than you. If you know for a fact you can beat it easy, then just beat it. Alright, here's the boss. Apple up or something. Can't pronounce it at all. But this is the, the boss raid. I'm not 100% sure what to do with this, but let's roll. I'm assuming it's like the other one where we attack the legs. So that's what I always do. Alright, attack the legs. Let me see if I can show them off a little bit. Figures. Also, this is the new song with no vocals because if I had vocals, then YouTube would take down my uh, video like that. Uh, it's kind of crazy. It's a shame that I can't sh hear the um, the vocal version, but the just even the non-vocal version sounds pretty good. I like it. Right, let's see. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to. Sh okay. Let me go for the tail then. Okay. Really? Oh, so the third player literally just wasn't here. Okay, I'm gonna try and... Okay. No! I activated it right when he freaking died. Of course. Oh well. Again, very easy. These kind of things are easy until... These type of events are gonna be always super easy until you actually unlock the damn thing. Uh, but yeah, that was the X in 36 seconds. Shadow is too strong. They've made Shadow way too strong. Um, and as you can see, I was right about being able to beat them. It was very easy. Uh, okay, so first things first, let's show off the new dragon. He's in here. This is Barbados. Ground Shaker. Deal shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead. Shadow HP below 30% equals strength 30%. If the user is attuned to shadow, increase strength by 30% when HP is 30% or below. Uh, shadow strength 20%. I'm not 100% sure what it's at 100% at because I don't have them yet. Um, uh, I don't know. He seems like specifically like a free-to-play character that goes with the new guy we got because that's the entire guy's gimmick. Let me go over what he does. This is Aldred. He is the four that you get for this event. His skills are Wormbound Ruler. Deals shadow damage to the enemies directly ahead. If this skill is used during the Dragon Drive, a variant called Wormbind's Eternity will be used instead. Uh, Wormbound's Eternity deals shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead, and damage will be increased if the user's HP decreases. Using this skill will consume 25% of the user's Dragon Drive gauge but fills 50% of this skill's skill gauge after use. Uh, Fetters of Fear feel 40% of the user's Dragon Drive gauge. If the user's HP is above 30% of max HP, reduce their HP to 30% of max HP and fill the Dragon Drive gauge relative to the amount of HP that was lost. 
if this skill is used during Dragon Drive, a variant called Unfettered Ferocity will be used instead. Unfettered Ferocity fills 100% of the user's Dragon Drive gauge and activates Loathsome Power for 40 seconds. During Loathsome Power, the user's strength is increased by 30%, but the user will take damage over time. The effect will not stack. Uh, this is his weapon. And then finally, he has a Strength Co ability, and I didn't unlock his maximum yet because I just didn't really feel like it for him. Um, but at the top, when he gets into 5, he learns the Beast Within. When using Loathsome Power, uh, its effect is active. Increased Strength by 20%, increased Defense by 50%. Wormbound 2. Grant the user's Dragon Drive Gauge and changes the Shapeshift Burden into Dragon Drive Button. Press this button and activates a Dragon Drive Gauge. During Dragon Drive, standard attacks will fill the user's Dragon Drive Gauge. The user's skill damage will be increased by 30% and defense will increase by 50%. And he has blindness resistance naturally. Um, he's weird. I'm not 100% sure how to use him effectively. Just because he sounds like a very weird unit. I'm going to jump into... Um, let me see. I'm going to jump into um, IO, Imperial Onslaught with him. Kind of alone and see what I can Let's do. Let's be off then, shall we? Let us be off. Alright, where is he? Oh yeah, he's in the four section. I'm done. Uh, there he is. And then for I'll these. The power of worm The thing is, I'm not 100% sure what kind of worm prince you want to use for him. He seems like such a one of those weird units where I'm, I'm just not sure how to build him. I'll go with this and the one below it, just because it just for that maximum HP thing. Um, and I guess I'll use Shin, Shinobi. So the thing is, is that he doesn't turn into dragon when he turns into. So all the things you would get. Actually, I'm gonna use. Um, Fatalis instead, because Fatalis, he'll just get the buff from Fatalis and he won't have to worry about curse damage at all. Um, then for this one, I will bring Cleo just because I do need healing. Let's be off then, shall we? Uh, no, giving her that is bad because the AI doesn't know how to use it. Uh, let me see, and then. Yeah, this. And that should be enough. We'll jump into IO and see how he is as a unit. Imperial Onslaught, Light, Master, do I need, yeah, for the little bit more damage just in case, and we'll jump in. Um, he is really cool, I like his story, and I like his look, and I like every kind of everything about him. He can be kind of uh, aggressive, a little bit, he's definitely going for some things, he kind of feels like Shadow the Hedgehog at points, but it's fine, he's going for some terrible stuff. This might be our chance okay. to take out the Syndicate. Yes. On what? Okay, yeah, I guess Cleo's just like, yes, let's take down the Syndicate. I agree with you, crazy boy. Alright, let's see. Let's fill it up a little bit. Ah, oh, damn. The important thing is, I thought, oh yeah, it's only 50%. Okay. Whoa. Yes. Okay. And then I'll use this. Hmm. It takes a real while for that thing to fill up, huh? It doesn't help that I was blinded. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, then I'll use this. I'm bursting the dragon's power. Then I'll use this. He's definitely got the dragon's power. I can't use the move though. I wonder why it's not letting me. Ah, oh, no, come on, move. Okay. Apparently, I just don't have enough. Okay, come on. Okay. I hate blind so much. It's an extremely unfun thing to fight. Come on. There we go. Okay. Remember, the main thing about this is that I want to see his move in action, but... Don't let this mistake go unpunished! Okay. Ruiner. Okay. Oh, damn it, now I'm blind. I'm gonna hit this bastard who is unable to stop me with this nonsense. There we go. Okay, let's see how this is. 
No, I'll give him this. He is extremely powerful in this mode. He's not taking a lot of damage. Huh. He even has like new skill animations and stuff. Yeah. I won't be stopped until I crush the syndicate. I think he's cool looking, for sure. Whether or not his coolness is actually effective remains to be seen. <laughs> actually, I wonder if, um... You know, I'm gonna try one more time, but I'm gonna give him a new worm print. I'm gonna give him one that gives him 100% um, dragon and see if that works for his ability. That's skill haste. Where's dragon ability? Totally is a way to go dragon right at the start. Alright, one moment while I look for the worm print. Okay, I've given him two worm print. That should give him 20% dragon thing. Let's see if this actually works. Shapeshift haste. So let's see if this works for him um, or not. It should in theory because they're the same gauge. But let's see. Yeah, it totally does. Okay, so you can go. start with that. Don't drag your feet. Okay. Is my greatest How to build it up. That actually seems to be the tough part of this, is actually getting him to that part of the attack, is getting him there. Alright. Okay, let me start by killing these dudes. Maybe that'll help me get a little bit more. I should have uh, gotten a Mim friend so she can use her skill 1 to help me drag it up a little bit more. Okay. I need to drop down below 50%. Okay. Okay. Now we should be able to go. Let's see, full HP, now he's blinded. Okay. I'm just gonna see until... Am I losing this gauge at full? It doesn't feel like I am. I'm really not taking much damage though, to be honest. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Do I still have it? I do. Uh, I lost it though. So I guess taking damage makes you lose it. Say hello to oblivion. Fine, I'm gonna take care of these little weenie guys. See if I can get it back. Cause I've definitely lost it. I'll pay you back for that. Wormbound okay. ruiner. Yeah, so he's back to his regular moves now. You stupid now little Cleo. Okay. And I'm blind again. <laughs> uh, there we go. Get him. I'll pay you back for that. I need to be unblind so I can hit this goddamn man with something. Okay, so I seem to be able to just go any time. There's Wormbound Eternity. Okay, so as long as I keep attacking, it seems like I just keep this forever. So I don't see the reason not to just keep this keep on going. Okay, I see him losing a little bit more there. But he's losing him. Yeah, he's a- what a weird unit. Who knows if he's good or not. It's kind of hard to tell from just looking at him. Until I crush the syndicate. Hmm. Very interesting dragon mechanic though. And he's free, so anyone can just have, you know, use him, have fun. He might be good for a starting out player, because it really does feel like with his like defense up and stuff, he's really good for players who are just like, uh, maybe they don't want to go dragon. Of course, when you go dragon, you take zero damage, so it kind of defeats the first. Oh, but no, it lasted way longer than your regular dragon, now that I think about it as I was using him. So yeah, that's today's, uh, that's today's to video. The that's shit, the scars of the syndicate. Further damage to the world. Yeah, I like the story. I think Eldred is an interesting character. Um, his his kit is certainly like 
interesting to look at. It's at least, I can say that much, which is making it much harder to be in Dragalia, is kind of looking at people like how they function and trying to figure out, is this good? Not 100% sure. I knew for um, Gal Alex that she was going to be good, but for this guy, well, don't know what to tell you. But I don't know. I'll keep messing around with him, see how he is, stuff like that. But that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Leave a comment, tell me how you're feeling about the current event, stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next Regalia video. Later. Have a good day.